Aloha and welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about Chapter 10's Potentiometer and LED. And uh, we're going to be basing this off of our last project. So if you've got your last project still assembled, good, because all we have to do is add a couple of things here. Um, we're going to be doing Project 10.1 Softlight. So for this one, we're going to be combining the knowledge that we gained uh, in the last lesson on ADC module. And we're going to be combining that with what we did earlier with the LED, which is the PWM, the pulse width modulation uh, information. So what we're gonna do here, uh, our project is gonna have the same su usual suspects up here, the same stuff we used uh, previously, <clears throat> which is our uh, potentiometer and our three jumpers, but we're gonna be adding in a resistor and an LED to the mix. So um, let's go ahead and go down and take a look at our circuit here. So we've got, this is going to be the same thing as before. We've got ground running to our ground pin, power going to power pin, and then we've got 26 pin over here for the, uh, for the analog uh, digital conversion. Then we're going to add in a, an LED. Remember, the longer one is the power and the shorter is the ground. So this is our power right here. It's going to, have, it's going to be connected by uh, the resistor to uh, pin 15. Pin 15 is going to be set up for pulse width modulation. And what we're going to do is we are going to uh, <clears throat> we're going to be uh, setting up uh, our analog analog to digital. So as we turn this, we're going to be sending the signal here. It's going to take that. It's going to interpret it into something digital, and then it will send out on pin 15 the uh, appropriate uh, value to uh, power the LED. So. Remember when we were dealing with uh, pulse width modulation that uh, we came up with values, we would set our frequency and we would also set the, uh, the duty cycle on it. And we would set the duty cycle. The duty cycle is basically the length of time it's gonna be on. Your frequency is like uh, a thousand. You know, If your frequency is a thousand, that means you're basically going on and off a thousand times within that second. And your duty cycle is the, uh, the actual uh, length of the, um, the time that it's on essentially during that period. So you've got values between zero and 65,535. So uh, at 65,535, it's constantly on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be turning our, uh, our knob here and we're gonna be going between the values of zero and 65,535. And that's gonna map onto a value one-to-one -one for our pulse width modulation, which is gonna be between zero and 65,535. So we're essentially, for each bit that we turn this, we're gonna be notching up the, the brightness on our uh, LED here. Uh, it should be a one-to-one, -one, so it, it's gonna be a real nice thing. So when we look at our code, oops, hold on. Our code looks like this. Uh, we set up our ADC to be on pin 26, our PWM on 15. We're gonna set the frequency at 1,000. Then we're gonna say, read the 16-bit uh, um, uh, potentiometer and get the value. It's going to be between 0 and 65, 535. And then we're going to push it out on the, uh, the pulse width modulation. Uh, you know, we're going to set its duty cycle, its 16-bit duty cycle, to that value that we just got in from the potentiometer. So reading in something that's 2 to the 16th, we're sending it out, you know, or that has a value between 0 and 2 to 16. And we're sending out, you know, whatever value we got. And then we sleep for, uh, you know, a tenth of a second. Then we do it all over again. So we're constantly reading what that potentiometer says and then putting it out. So if you want to sleep here, you'll uh, if you want to change your sleep to something bigger than that, then you can make it where it's uh, it would seem like your potentiometer isn't as uh, responsive. But if you shorten that, it might go the other way. I'm not sure. It depends on the you know the amount of time it takes to react. But let's go ahead and uh, set this up. So um, yeah, here's an explanation of it. You know, as you turn it your brightness is gonna increase as you turn it down, the brightness will decrease. So, um, because what we're essentially doing is we're uh, switching, you know, we're increasing the voltage there between zero and 3.3. .3. So, yeah. So anyhow, this is uh, pretty much the end of the explanation there. So let's go ahead and look at our uh, video here. So I'm going to try not to screw this up because I'm working on this at a very strange angle. So if I was to take this, uh, let me go ahead and bend our handy dandy little uh, resistor. I got a new one out of the box. 
hoping it would look a little bit better. I'm going to take this, we're going to run it between pin 15. Let's see if I can do that without really messing things up. So I'm going to put that 15 and then right here. So I'm going to have to take a long pin on here. So the long pin, let's see. So the long pin on that side is going to go into uh, the uh, space that I just set that up on. Is that here? I think that's there. Let me see. Does that? Nope, that's not correct. Got to go over one more. So I do here. So I've got that. Hold on just one second. And uh, I did forget to uh, mention uh, we do need one more. Uh, we need one more wire out of this. Uh, that wire is going to be to run to our ground because we've just set up our power there. So we need to set up our ground connection as well. So let me pull up a little wire here from the bag. So we're going to be using this wire and we'll go from here on the short pin. We're going to bring that over to ground. And that should complete it. So um, now that we've got that set up, let's go ahead and run our code. So let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to share the screen. I'm going to pull up my code and let's run it. And as you can see on the overhead, uh, I'm just going to quit from this. I'll go ahead and go back to our video. I just wanted to see, uh, you know, show it run there. But when I click on stop share, I'm going to go back to our video and let's turn this. And we're at the brightest right now. So as I go down, you notice that the we're toning down the turning down the volume on it. <laughs> so yeah, we can go all the way up and turn it all the way down. So yeah, so what we're doing is we're essentially going from almost off. Yeah, because remember we never hit zero when we went all the way down this way. We just had barely any power going to, uh, to it. But then we take that almost barely, almost off and we slowly nudge it up, nudge it up, nudge it up. And this is all the way to the end of what the power can take on it. So yeah, so that's how we use a potentiometer. That's how we control the analog. You know, use the analog control to uh, control the, uh, the LED here. And we're doing that through a combination of using the ADC and the, the pulse width modulation. So anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed that experiment. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and I will see you in the next lesson. Aloha.